So the second place people pack their money is in real estate, housing market, real estate. So again, let's bring this up. What do we do? We go ahead and we make our income. And what do we do? We say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. You got to pay your taxes, right? Most people say, you know, I don't want to put money in my savings account. I need to pack my money in my house. They're making extra payment. You know why? Because they want to pay their house off quickly. So they're making extra payment. They're making extra payment on the mortgage. So that sounds good. They're pulling, paying down the mortgage. And then once in a while, they go in and they do a home equity line of credit and they take a loan against the house by doing home equity line of credit. So let's understand the benefit of doing that. What benefits does the home equity line of credit give you? Well, as you can see, the benefit that it does give you is what? Tax deferred growth. That means you're not paying taxes because again, it's a loan, right? And collateral opportunity, you can use it as a collateral, but it doesn't have a lot of other benefits as we didn't list them. So what are the things you need to consider when you do that? Well, home equity line of credit must be granted by banks and that conditional on credit worthiness and bank liquidity. That means you, your credit has to be great and the bank has to be liquid to be able to give you the money. Home equity line of credit in place may be revoked at any time at the discretion of the bank. If no loans are outstanding, they could call the loan any time, folks. Most home equity line of credit have call provisions. I just talked about that. The, given the fluctuation of house valuation, the amount of equity available for some borrowers could be insufficient for their needs. Might not be able to get enough money from the property. Home equity line of credit generally have caps on the amount of available credit. So they have a cap, they have a limit on how much you could take from your house. So folks, is that a good place for you to pack your money? The big answer is no, no, no. Don't do it. And if you notice, the money in there is not liquid. You got to get permission from the bank and we don't like getting permission from nobody. We need to go be able to, we need as business owners, as individuals, as families, we need our money to be liquid and we don't need to be on the mercy of the bank. So no, 